An airplane is flying at an airspeed of 200 miles per hour headed on a southeast bearing of 140 degrees. A north wind, that means from the north to the south, is blowing at 16.2 miles per hour. What are the ground speed and actual bearing of the plane? Well, in this section, we're going to learn how to solve problems just like that one. So let's talk about some definitions real quick. A vector is a directed line segment, or a specific quantity drawn as a line segment with an arrow at one end. The initial point is where the vector starts. The terminal point is where the vector ends. Then the magnitude is the length of the vector. The direction is indicated by the arrow at the terminal point. And there are three different ways that you can write vector notation. You can use a lowercase letter that is boldface type with or without the arrow on top of it. You can use an uppercase pair. It's an arrow over the terminal point. So this particular vector would be called vector PQ where it starts at P and it ends at Q. So that gives you the direction of this vector. And then a vector in standard position has the initial point at 0, 0 and its terminal point at AB. And we could use these crazy looking little brackets with our AB inside them. If you want to change a vector into a position vector, you're given vector CD. C is the initial point. D is the terminal point. C is the pair XY. D is a pair XY. You find the difference in the X's, find the difference in the Y's. So if you're looking at this one, ray call that array. <laughs> Vector AB would be the difference in the x's, so x2 minus x1, and the difference in the y's, y2 minus y1, and that's how you get your vector AB. So you can see in this example our original vector CD and then the position vector is AB. So it has the same length, the same direction, it just moves it down to the origin. That's the difference between the vector itself and its position vector. Look at this first example. Consider the vector whose initial point is P23 and terminal point is Q64. Find the position vector. And I'm really sorry my dog's barking. All right, so if we're given P is 2, 3, and Q is 6, 4, using the formula from the previous page, we find the difference in the x's, so 6 minus 2. The difference in the y's would be 4 minus 3. 6 minus 2 is 4. 4 minus 3 is 1. So our position vector is 4, 1. You can actually see this. The original one started at 2, 3 and stopped at 6, 4. Something like that. So this was our P and this was our Q. And our position vector is at 4, 1. 2, 3, 4, 1. I know it's hard to tell when this isn't on a grid, but this vector is the same direction and the same length as the original. The difference is it starts at the origin.